We are given f double prime of x equals 3x plus 8 sine x, and f prime of 0 equals 4, and f of 0 equals 3. We're asked to find f of x. We can think of integration as the opposite operation of differentiation, meaning if we integrate the second derivative, we get the first derivative plus a constant, and if we integrate the first derivative, we get the original function plus a constant. Let's work on determining the first derivative function by integrating the second derivative. So we have the integral of 3x plus 8 sine x. Now integrating, the integral of 3x is equal to 3 times x squared divided by 2, and then we have plus the integral of 8 sine x. The integral of sine x is equal to negative cosine x, which gives us not plus but minus 8 cosine x plus c. So because we integrated the second derivative here, we now know the first derivative, f prime of x, is equal to 3 halves x squared minus 8 cosine x plus c. And now we can determine the specific value of c because we know f prime of zero equals four. f prime of zero equals four indicates if we substitute zero for x into the derivative function, the function value must be four, which indicates four is equal to three halves times zero squared minus eight times cosine zero plus c. And now we solve for c. On the left we have four. Four is equal to three halves times zero squared is zero. Cosine zero is one, and therefore the right side simplifies to negative eight plus c. Adding eight to both sides, we have c equals 12. Now that we know c equals 12, we now know the first derivative is f prime of x equals three halves x squared minus eight cosine x and then c is 12, so we have plus 12. So now that we have the exact first derivative function, we can integrate this function and work on determining the original function. So we will now integrate 3 halves x squared minus 8 cosine x plus 12. Integrating, the integral of 3 halves x squared is equal to 3 halves times x cubed divided by three, minus the integral of eight cosine x. The integral of cosine x is sine x plus c, giving us minus eight sine x. The integral of 12 is equal to 12x, so we have plus 12x, and of course plus c, the constant of integration. So now we know the original function f of x is equal to, here we can simplify before multiplying, three divided by three simplifies to one, giving us one half x cubed minus eight sine x plus 12 x plus c. And then finally we know f of zero equals three, which means if we substitute zero for x, the function value must be three. This gives us the equation three equals one half times the cube of zero minus eight times sine zero plus 12 times zero plus c. So we have three equals on the right side, one half times zero cubed is zero, minus eight times sine zero is zero, since sine zero is zero, plus 12 times zero is zero. The right side simplifies to just c. And now that we know c is equal to three, we know the original function which we're trying to find is f of x equals one half x cubed minus eight sine x plus 12 x plus three since c is three. I hope you found this helpful.